The church is a church under orders. The Japanese invaded China during the last years of the Second World War. Expatriates, foreigners, were rounded up and held for questioning. Among those taken at that time were several China inland missionaries. Daily, these men were forced to face a military tribunal. The questions were always the same. Who are you? By whose authority are you in China? And the Japanese high command was asking in terms of authority of which king or country, or more importantly, which agency these missionaries were working for. They were suspected as being spies, of course, for America. John Lockhart, Canadian China inland missionary, was one of these men. He told me of the great frustration in not being able to be understood by the tribunal and how they had feared for their very lives. One day, God gave John a great amount of wisdom. In answer to the daily question, whose authority are you under, John simply reached into his pocket and pulled out his New Testament, and he opened it to Matthew 28, and he pointed to 18 to 20. The Japanese commanders passed John's little Bible back and forth, each one reading silently. Finally, they conferred together and they released the missionaries. The enemy, you see, now understood that these missionaries were under the authority of God and that the orders were quite clear. John's story is inspiring, but it's also a great lesson for the church in Canada. Daily, we are asked by a watching world, by whose authority are you here? The truth is, we the church of God are under orders. We have no authority in ourselves, but only in Christ. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, Jesus declares. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you, and surely I am with you to the very end of the age. What is our mandate as a church? It is this, to live under the authority of Jesus Christ in all we do, to go and make disciples, to baptize new believers, identifying them as disciples of Jesus, to teach believers to obey the clear teachings of Jesus from scriptures. Where does the power come from to live and obey God? It comes from Jesus Christ himself through the power of his spirit. The church lives and operates under the authority of Jesus. He gives the marching orders, no questions asked. Let us march in his spirit. May God bless you as you pray this month.